You are now listening to the Pelicans Post Game Report. Flash Report. All things Pelicans. You're now tuned in to Pelican Post Game Report. Chiming in with a Flash Report, dropping some news on the Pell family. And uh, this is not really a surprise, family. It's coming from several media outlets. This drop uh, Pelicans showing openness to trade in talks with uh, Lonzo Ball and JJ Reddit looking to move. Lonzo, who's been struggling in the Stan Van Gundy offense, not really finding his place. Uh, and of course, JJ Reddit, who's just been absolutely awful in this terrible shooting slump that he's currently in. This is coming by way of uh, NOLA.com. Writer is Christian Clark. Pelican reporters reporting this. Several of the media outlets as well. Uh, the, and we knew David Griffin, if he's not yapping in front of the cameras, pretending to be the uh, general manager, he's behind the scenes, him and Trajan Langdon, looking to try to make something happen for the Pelicans. And they're been a- they've been absolutely awful, man. I just can't uh, say it enough. They've been absolutely awful. Get to this article. When David's deal was completed in June of 2019, if you had any if any in the Pelicans organization were excited about the acquisition of lines of ball as then coach Elvin Gentry. Now, of course, ball in his only season of college, he was the head of the snake for the 31 win UCLA team that played uh, up temple basketball, Freddie V and uh, Freddie Vincent helped him redefine his shot matrix. He became a better shooter, but in Stan Van Gundy's system, which I believe is too slow, need to kick up the tempo. They basically turn Lonzo into a spot up shooter. He still plays really, de- really good defense, but uh, they're not utilizing him to to the strengths that I've seen others had successful Lonzo ball game. Not saying that he can do different things, but he looks a mess, offensively speaking, disconnected in this system with Stan Van Gundy. JJ Reddit, however, has been absolutely dreadful uh, in the last few games shooting the ball, and you know the Pelicans right now. Uh, sitting five games back of 500, looking for an opportunity to prove upon this team. Now, CBS report is also reporting that the Pelicans are open to dealing Lonzo Ball and JJ Reddit, like I said, to discuss Kelly Oubre Jr. in trades with the Warriors per report. Now, this is a guy that has an offensive skill set that's really good. He has size, he can play defense, he's an energy guy. You know, but where would uh, a guy like Kelly Oubre Jr. fit in the Pelican system? Let's get into this article as we discussed as the centerpieces of the team, obviously, are Brandon Ingram with the one five eight million dollar contract. Zion Williamson, of course, who is a superstar. Both of those guys share that responsibility as the cornerstones to improve. But the Pelicans wanted more time to evaluate whether the significant three point shooting strides ball made last season were something to trust moving forward. And like I said, he just doesn't look confident in Stan Van Gundy system and Stan Van Gundy most certainly has to ratchet up pace against in his system. It's way too slow. It's way too slow. He has to at least, at least speed it up some to some degree. Now the Pelicans, they're looking at trying to trade him, but the athletic uh, Shams Sharania who added to that New Orleans and Golden State have discussed a potential deal involving Kelly Oubre Jr. Though there hasn't been any real traction on that forefront yet so the guy they're looking at is kelly Oubre, which you know that'll be most interesting to the pelicans uh lineup you know to be honest with you well will kelly Oubre, well he could play the two all the three for you uh so it'd be interesting he does have that versatility to come in there so you know a potential starting lineup would it be eric bledsoe kelly Oubre, uh brandon ingram zion williamson and stephen adams perhaps you know, and then, of course, you bring KLJ and NAW off the bench with Josh Hart. You got to find a, a four, a stretch big four to pair with Jackson off the bench. But that does give your offense, your starting five, an impact punch right there. I mean, that's 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 good. And of course, and of course, Kelly's a local kid anyway. So with that being said, but for right now, that's what we got as of right now with the Pelican trade news. So I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in to another Pelican flash report. If you're not a Pelican subscriber, please hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and join the realest show covering Pelican news and notes. And also hit the like button and the notification bell to get more updates and game recaps from this channel. I'm Big Q chiming in. Thank you all for listening to the report. Go Pels and don't get flocked up. Subscribe now and stay up to date for all things New Orleans Pelicans.